All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are taking a look at FRC as well as DWOC on this one. So normally I don't flash post-market with much emphasis. I for sure need to do it here because as I'm speaking, they are dropping their earnings right now. I'm obviously not paying attention to it. I'm making this video right now, right? But what I can really quickly see is we go from a 12% regular hours to a pretty nasty only 5%. So I'm assuming there's some bad things happening. Again, it's kind of going up and down as I'm speaking. So I'll probably figure it out later on today. But um, again, I normally don't put weight into after hours, but hey, Earnings are happening, and if they were great, it would obviously be going up. I think if it was horrible, horrible, it would have gone down, down, down. But nonetheless, we do lose, as of now, this double digit. But you know me, I care way more about regular hours, and that's what I'm gonna be talking about. And this is a juicy setup, all right? It really, really is. It's just now a matter of what's the market gonna think about this earnings. But yeah, let's let's definitely talk about the technicals. And before we do, really quickly, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There's only one, I'll probably draw another one for sure, but there are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like, subscribe, share, comment, anything you can really do does help with these YouTube algorithms. But hey, just being here and giving me your time is beyond appreciated, okay? And hey, I'm not perfect. I'm not all-knowing. If you've got any opinions that you think are better than mine, please throw them in the comments, all right? We're, we're literally here to learn from each other and we're nothing more than educated people sharing some opinions here. Okay, so let's get into it. And look, obviously I'm zoomed out this much because my goodness, nothing better than just red, 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 especially if you did not have money up here, because some point this red, 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 red down should become green, 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 green. And look, I'm not here telling you to think that this $16 is about to run to 100. I think that honestly is like the, I don't want to say stupid because that, that's like a horrible word. And I do apologize for even like trying to start that way. But like, that's what messes you up. Look, I, I am a greedy gambler. Like I'm not trying to pretend I'm better than any of that. But if you're sitting at 16 and you're having expectations of 20, which is roughly what I'm going to be saying here, it's much easier to hit the 20 and be really happy and bank some money than if you're looking for 100 and you're only at 20, like you're not even close to there, right? So again, set some realistic dreams, but I'm always going to say, and I'm going to say it again. Yeah, in my head, I do believe red, 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 red will turn to green, 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 green eventually. You know what I mean? Maybe it'll do something like this, whatever it does. Like we're going to eat that all up one day, okay? Again, just in case you fast forwarded, there are earnings happening right now. We've dropped significantly from that $12 regular hours. And look, we're pretty much coming back to this 6, 1460 line, right? So um, you know I don't put much weight into post-market, but when earnings are coming after hours, yeah, it definitely matters. But again, I'm making this video right now, right? So you, you can really see how much weight and, and consideration end of the day goes into my trading you know, strategy, right? That said, look, we're gonna we're gonna focus on the regular hours and some strong things have been happening. Okay. We break both moving averages. We don't quite confirm well, but we definitely hold. This is a nice day compared here, and obviously today was a pretty beautiful day. And really, a, mo like a lot of the profits really happen after breaking the 1460. So I don't know if you saw this alert or not, but um, yeah, 1460 break really did bring most of the profit actually today. Obviously, this was super strong, but I for sure knew after hours meant earnings. And I've kind of always said it. I don't like my money going into earnings. I was really happy to, I don't like telling you guys where my money's at, okay? Because I'm not perfect. I definitely make mistakes and I don't want you to be like, oh man, this dude bought, I should probably buy too. Like that's not my game, okay? But yeah, I had the alert hit. I actually jumped in on this. I was riding this red, 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 red. As we got close enough to that one o'clock my time, four o'clock Eastern, I definitely unloaded. I was way cool having the earnings be good and watching the thing skyrocket like 20% after hours. For real, I was okay with that. 
I obviously didn't get the full 12% because like I said, I didn't enter at the bottom. But those are the things I'm willing to do. I'm willing to walk away from what could be really good earnings and really good numbers because I've seen it more times than not where earnings seem good, but it goes down. And again, I have no idea what the earnings are saying, but we've dropped about 9%, right? So I'm super happy I am loaded to say the least, right? And what's basically gonna happen for me is I need to see where this opens on Monday. If this thing opens, cause again, I always say it, I actually legit don't care where this thing ends like after hours. I, I really, really don't. I actually barely care where it open, like what happens pre-market. For me, what I'm really gonna care is are you at least gonna open here, like close to 80% candle? Are you gonna lose 50% candle? Like is 15, 15 gone? You know what I mean? Like those are the considerations. And look, end of the day, the eight and the 20 are definitely still going up, right? So as long as things play out and, and we don't necessarily lose these two lines, I'm okay losing my horizontal. But like if we can hold these lines, hey, maybe, you know, maybe it'll happen again. But yeah, this stock's definitely on my radar. I want to eat all of this. You know what I mean? So, and really, like I said, I see this being the first natural resistance this being the other resistance, roughly 50%, this being the other resistance. And again, from there, there's no other resistances except these moving averages. You know what I mean? It's basically red, 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 red with one real candle. So all I can do is put it there, right? So um, yeah, again, I think that's kind of everything I got here. So let's see what the market thinks about the earnings. Again, I don't care what I think about it, right? I care what the market thinks. So um, let's see how the market reacts. Let's see how that reacts with these moving averages, specifically the eight and the 20 right here. Let's not lose one, sorry, one. Let's not lose 1384, right? Don't go below 1380, that would be horrible, right? But yeah, I, I want to eat that up for sure, okay? Um, I'm gonna look at the weekly, I guess, really quickly. I mean, again, we're, we're trying, right? We're trying to go up and yeah, I have this 20 line right here. It barely even looks like we'll hit the 26 because what is this thing saying? It's kind of saying that 2350 might be a pretty hard line to break. So, um, you know, I'm actually going to lower it to that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that back to wherever 50% candle is. I'll find it. I'm going to raise this bottom one there. So let's put that there. And that's about 50% candle. I'm cool with that. I like this. I think this is what I'm going to draw for, for FRC. Uh, DWOC. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm obviously making these YouTube videos, but I don't do a lot of social media, all right? I probably only do Facebook, and my Facebook is literally just like stocks and stuff, okay? I've been noticing Donald Trump is coming onto Facebook more, okay? And there's something about these like digital trading cards that he's been talking about. It sounds like they sold out quick and they're like reselling for crazy numbers. I don't know any of those details. If you do, can you throw that in the comments, please? But end of the day, it seems like the Donald Trump stuff is kind of getting a little bit louder. The last time I was looking at the stock was probably in one of these two moments where it was the trial thing. I'll be honest, I haven't heard much news about the trial, if anything. I don't even know if he went to court. Like, I'll be honest, all that Donald Trump stuff kind of went away. And that's probably why this thing dropped that much, right? I always say, when Trump's around, DWOC runs. When Trump's not, who the fuck gives a shit about DWOC? I'm so sorry to curse that much right there, right? But yeah, Trump's been picking up a little bit on my Facebook. And this doesn't look like a really significant day. It's obviously a, a three percent right but this is an important candle right here all right we definitely break both the eight and the 20 we actually get volume to cross the 50 average line for the first time in a really long time actually basically since the beginning of april right and like it, it again we're still in the negative but yeah i got that i'm, I'm really I, I don't know the math right i'm not here pretending i understand what the rsi does or will do but it's odd to me that that would go down like that despite this going up but Again, 80% of the work really is up here and you know I think volume's king. So just looking at this break and the volume, my expect and then where did we go compared to this? Okay, my expectation is this has to close at 1364. 
All right. If we can close at 1364 tomorrow, I think that actually means we've taken these two lines. All right. Because let's just zoom out a bit. We, we've been struggling with the 8 and the 20 for a while. If you watch my videos, you know bad things happen under the 8 and the 20. And that's all we've really seen here, minus a small little moment, small little moment, small little moment. Right. These two actually weren't that bad. But, um, Hey, let's see if we can get another small little moment here. And the 50 is getting closer, right? This, this entire time, we basically make one wick thing here. We actually break it here. No confirmation, but we actually break it. And now we're here, right? So um, MACD is getting closer to zero. If we can get a little consistent volume, I mean, things could get interesting here, all right? I'll say that. End of the day, it really is going to start with actually taking the 8 and the 20. And I'm not going to draw a line because really the moving averages are too tight. But 1364, that's the expectation. I want to break this um, 327 candle. Obviously, I want to break the 50 moving average to hope that I can come to the um, 100 up here, right? But um, DWOC, interesting. The only odd thing I'm going to just say one more time, it's really odd the RSI is doing that. That's a pretty, again, insignificant percent. That's a pretty big candle. I'm really surprised that it went down like that. Whatever that means, I don't know. But um, yeah, interesting start to the week. Again, where are we? Obviously, very, 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 very early in the week. So don't get too, too excited. But yeah, we're opening above the eight. All right, look at that. It's been a minute on this weekly since we've really been over the eight, right? So this one definitely closes over the eight, but nothing great confirmation wise. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's see if this weekly can do a thing. And again, this is kind of saying if we can break that, maybe we'll run to 1488, right? Which is basically uh, the 20 there. I think this 1450 line might be um, a decent, um, I think this might be a decent target. And that's, that's basically a 10% swing, right? You're, at, you're, you're adding roughly a buck something to that. Buck 30 is 10%. So um, interesting to, to see here. But yeah, these are the two here. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, hey, I appreciate your time so, so much.